ASSETS was founded in 1955 on naval base Pearl Harbor by some Navy dependents. So these mothers got together and they had children who had special needs that were not being addressed by the Department of Education because this was before statehood. And so they came together and they founded ASSETS School. So ASSETS was an acronym for Armed Services Special Education and Training Society. And so we continued on base until early 1990s, and then we moved to this location here. But eventually, of course, the Department of Education came online, was able to provide the needs of those students. And along the line came this awareness that there's a population of bright students who are struggling learners whose needs are not being met. And so at that point, the mission shifted to include students with what was then called learning disabilities. And then there was the awareness that many students who struggle with learning have similar profiles in a way to kids who are gifted. And so that's how the school came to encompass the learning differences, the gifted high potential, and the twice exceptional profiles. I think one of the biggest questions a parent can ask is why, as opposed to making assumptions about they're not paying attention or they don't care, they need to try hard enough. I mean, when you have a bona fide learning difference or when you're an advanced learner and your needs are not being met, school is a really frustrating endeavor. And it's so important to recognize that these kids want to learn. They want to be a part of the class. They want to contribute. But if there's something that's getting in the way of them being able to access text or being able to put words to paper, then that holds them back. They become self-conscious. Sometimes other kids notice that they're having trouble keeping up. Unfortunately, sometimes that makes them a target to be marginalized or sometimes even teased. The really heartbreaking part is when an adult in that environment makes an assumption that's not correct, does not ask why, and just, you know, you need to try harder, you know, go ask somebody else. Kids want to be successful. They want to learn. They don't want to disappoint. And they bring their A game, but if day after day, they're feeling like no matter what they do, they cannot succeed. Some of the social emotional impacts you see are anxiety, depression, low frustration tolerance, sometimes outright avoidance. They see it as a failing. They see it as a personal failing. And it's not their failing. Schools, right? It's all about delivering to the students what it is that they need in order to be successful. I think all schools want to do that, right? No teacher wants to not be successful as a teacher, but it's also knowing when a student needs something more that you're unable to deliver, and then helping them get to that next level so that they can be independent, because that's what you want for the kids. The people who work here are amazing. The teachers have tremendous heart for kids, and I think that the gift that they give them is their desire to want to see the kids be the best that they can be and will structure them for success. I've been here for 40 years. It's been a blessing.